Hey everyone, Professor Michael Scanlon here. So I wanted to do something a little bit different for today's video, for today's activity, and that is show you how you can get involved with actual science projects. Um, I use this a lot in my classes. I, I get my students to pick a project and um, they do it, they do a report on it or do a presentation on it or whatever. Um, there's something that's known as citizen science. Now, scientists today typically have to go through loads of data to get any kind of research done. And so what's been done is that data has been open to the public to help analyze. Now, it might sound very boring, but trust me, it's not. So I want to show you some of this stuff uh, in, in just a minute. But that's kind of what citizen science is. It's non-scientists helping with science. And some phenomenal projects are located right here on a website called Zooniverse. So it's zooniverse.org. Um, the great thing about it is it's not just science research. So uh, actually, you know, what? before I show you the projects, I do want to mention it's got an app so you can get it uh, on the app stores. You can do it on your computers. You can do it on your cell phones, your tablets, whatever. So let's look at the projects that we have available to us. There are a total of, right now, 102 projects, although we don't have to scroll through all of them. We do have the opportunity to kind of pick and choose what area we want. And so I'm just going to run with biology. That is one of my students' favorites. And these are research projects that scientists are actively working on and want your help with it. So let's do a snapshot. These are kind of uh, fun ones for my students to do. These are, these are kind of a student favorite um, where you study wildlife at some reserve and uh, it's just really cool. So one thing that you'll see whenever you, you load up a, a project is a kind of quick brief description. You'll have a place where you can join in. Now you don't have to have an account for Zooniverse. Although I do recommend you sign up for one because it's going to keep track of the projects you've worked on, some of the contributions you've made. It's just a fun thing to, to kind of keep up with. It doesn't cost anything. It's going to give you some information just in general and then some project links to these particular projects for you to learn more information. One thing that's really cool is if you go to About, they give you loads of information about what's going on, who's working on it, and each project is totally unique, and so I highly recommend you go through these about things. But let's face it, we're here to kind of get into this. Now the talk area, that's where you would actually have to create an account um, and actually talk with other people working on this project. So it's a really cool thing. Each project is going to have a tutorial that you're going to be able to go through, so they're not just going to throw you to the wolves, so to speak. And I'm just going to go ahead and click off of that instead of going through it all. You can always go back to the tutorial right there. Um, there is something in this picture. I can't really see what it is. It looks like a rhinoceros to me. Um, what does it look like to you? You tell me. You think it's a rhino? I think it's a rhino. Um, but you would just pick what you see in here. Um, I can't tell if it's a black or a white rhino. Fun fact for you, the difference between a black rhino and a white rhino, uh, the way that you can spot them easily is a black rhino has a pointed mouth and a white rhino has a very wide mouth. Um, so if you look at the lips on them, a wide rhino has very wide lips uh, horizontally and a black rhino's lips kind of come to a point. So that's the main difference. So I can't tell anything. I'm pretty sure it's a rhinoceros. Anyway, let's zoom in and see. Well, that made it worse. If you're not sure about some of these things, that's okay. You can typically find a place where it says, I don't know. Anyway, um, the first few images that you're going to go through on any of these projects are kind of like analyzed by experts and it's just to get you familiar with the process of uh, 
like, yeah, you're doing this right. No, you need to work on this a little bit. Anyway, um, if you are one of those types of people, kind of like me, is like, I don't want to screw up a project. Don't worry. Okay. These images go through multiple rounds of analysis, and the images are only taken out of analysis when they've been analyzed the same way a few times by different people. So if I say that this is a rhinoceros, I mean, it's got to be a rhino. I'm going to say it's a rhinoceros. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say it's a black rhino. Um, how many do I see? I see one. I see it standing there. I don't see any babies. I'm going to say that's what it is. Um, and then I'm going to say, done. And it's going to give me another image. So, um, I hope we all know that that's an elephant. No, it's a rhinoceros. Anyway, I'm sorry. I'm being silly. Uh, I highly recommend, in all seriousness, highly recommend Zooniverse. Um, it's a great way for you to get involved, get your kids involved, get your parents involved, get whoever involved, get your neighbors involved in actual science. I mean, it's makes you interested or makes you think about things that you haven't thought about uh, before possibly, or, or you've always been like, hey, I really wanted to do this and never got a chance to do it. Um, I had students say, you know, I wanted to be a zoologist. I just, uh, things came up and I had to choose a different path. Thanks for letting us do this. I didn't know this was out there. I didn't know this was available. This is great. Now I've gotten a chance to kind of do a bit of zoology. Or I've had some people that there's a project called Squash the Bug where it's about tuberculosis and their lives were touched directly by TB, uh, by some of their family members, or one of their family members, and they're like, this is incredible. I got to help scientists who are researching tuberculosis, uh, something that's impacted me personally. So Zooniverse is a great way to do something. I mean, even if you're on the go. Um, I'm not getting paid to say all this. I just, I just cannot emphasize how awesome this program is or this website is enough. That's going to be it for today. I hope you get into Zooniverse, play around with it, get deeply involved with it. It's an incredible opportunity, and I'll see you all in my next video. Hey, you're going to want to pay attention to what's going to happen this weekend on our website. Oh, I'm sorry, on our Facebook page and, of course, our YouTube channel because we're uploading videos to both places there. So watch for something special happening this weekend. Bye, everybody.